This is Gene Key, KDD News. ConnectAmarillo.com reports a 16-car pileup northeast of Amarillo Thursday afternoon is being blamed on low visibility from multiple grass fires. At least five people were injured, the Texas Department of Public Safety reported. Four people were transported to Northwest Texas Hospital with neck injuries. One was transported with serious lower body injuries. It happened near the overpass in the area of Highway 60 and Avenue A. That's the exit to Amarillo College East Campus. There were three separate grass fires on the south side of Highway 60 when the pileup happened. Two of the fires were on the embankment of the overpass. That's when motorists saw the smoke and slowed down. In turn, that caused a chain reaction of vehicles crashing into each other. Officials remind motorists if they see smoke near a roadway to stop before approaching. NewsChannel10.com reports wind energy continues to be a growing industry in the Texas Panhandle with the possibility of storage now available. With wind turbines continually popping up across the area, the question now is how can we make the energy created more useful? Storing the wind energy has also been a question, but now a storage plant is coming to Tulia in the near future. The plant will use compressed air energy storage, which will hold the power from the wind underground, similar to the way natural gas is stored. The representatives from the company building the plant says, for the most part, the wind blows in a panhandle in the off-peak times, which is perfect for us because we can use all of the wind energy to run our compressors to fill our storage space and then, in the peak, turn around and use the compressed air. That compressed wind energy as a generational resource. The company has already completed preliminary groundwork and are expecting to start construction later this year. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDD News.